Well, new questions concerning the deadly attack in Benghazi that left four brave Americans dead, including our ambassador. The suspects in the terror attack are not included on the State Department Rewards for Justice program. And now some lawmakers want answers from Secretary of State John Kerry. Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Herridge is live in Washington with this story. Hi, Catherine. Well, thank you, Patty Ann. Fox News understands that the letter from Republican Congressman Mike McCall, who is chairman of the House Homeland Security Committee and a senior member of Foreign Affairs, is now being circulated on Capitol Hill for signatures and should be delivered to Secretary Kerry's office no later than the beginning of next week. We have seen a draft which includes highly critical language. It reads in part, quote, we fail to understand how such an important counterterrorism tool could not be used by the administration when you and the president claim that bringing the assailants to justice is such a high priority. The State Department program, Rewards for Justice, offers up to $25 million for tips that lead to the capture of alleged terrorists overseas. The State Department controls the list and adds suspects after consulting with the FBI, Justice Department, CIA, and National Security Council staff. This week, Fox News identified two key suspects, one believed to be a former courier for the Al-Qaeda network in Pakistan and the second a former bodyguard. This undercuts early claims by the administration that the assailants were isolated extremists with no ties to organized terrorist groups. If the Rewards for Justice program has paid out $125 million to 80 individuals since it began in 1984, Fox News and the Associated Press asked at the briefing yesterday, why stop at Benghazi? Whether we pay a couple million dollars isn't the point. The point is that we, we believe it's a priority. Our intelligence community believes it's a priority. Uh, people in this building believe it's a priority. And whether they're on a website or not doesn't change that. Harf also said the deliberations over which terrorists are included on the list are classified. Asked if she would explain whether the Benghazi suspects were even considered for the list, Harf told reporters that she would get back to us. Patty Ann. All right, Catherine Herridge, live in Washington. Thank you. You're welcome.